hi students how are you i hope you guys are doing well today a little my voice is dim and i have some curve so that though i try to explain explain it a little bit uh, so i'm going to talk about adaptation accommodation and modification for academic curriculum which is very very important for children with intellectual disability when they go out and you know take the regular education in, with the non-disabled peer in the mainstream classroom so before we move to adaptation of all three hours which we have already discussed in your pre-academic curriculum we need to understand the concept see you are aware about idea that is your individualized disability education act which is passed in the year 1997 by united state this is an act which tells you about the rights of person with disability so in a clause they have given you know uh, that disabled students have an access to general education curriculum so how they can get this access by doing some sort of adaptation with the child's need with the child's specific need okay so even they have a right to take the general education so it's not a new concept it has been originated long back even in idea your 1974 act they have mentioned this is your 1997 which is which was updated and they have mentioned in that so anyways they are they are talking about you know each student must have a ip must address the particip uh, participation in and access the general education for example if the student are removed from the general education curriculum we need to be very clear we need to explain why the child has been removed from the ip service what was the reason why you have not included the child in the ip so that is against the act that is against the law which you need to explain if you have indulged into some issues okay Okay, with, so this is very very important to understand before you go to the adaptation okay. now let us see accommodating for inclusive environment what are the steps you have to take to be a successful you know uh, adapting the academic curriculum so like your specify the instructional objectives yes until unless you specify your instructional objective very clearly you may not you know plan the accommodation you may not plan the modification you may not plan the adaptation for that particular child so in this you need to list the objective in a such a way so that anybody can understand your objective must be in the observable term such as so that they will communicate with each other okay so that is that's that's why instructional objective is nothing but your task your goal which you are going to teach the child then focus the objective on what is directly uh, you know uh, the instructional target is about so you need to focus so you need to specify your instructional objectives that means your objective which you are going to select for the teaching or for the modification of the curriculum then plan how the objective will be evaluated to ensure that whether student has progressed whether you need to do some sort of modification further or not so that is very very important to specify your instructional objective now let us see the sequence skills sequencing skills is also very very you know uh, important and plays a major role in adaptation uh, of academic curriculum now here make sure that you understand the prerequisite skill whether the child has already learned whether the child has already mastered or not if for example if you have taken an objective let us say a, uh, in a, a double digit addition if the child don't know the single digit addition that means you have not sequenced your things properly that means you have you have just taken blindly and started teaching so you need to understand the prerequisite skill i mean to say the baseline the current level of the skills first so sequence easy skills that as i said before a difficult skills if you teach directly a double digit addition first and then uh, you know 
whether your child doesn't uh, respond to it, that means it's not appropriately selected. Then plan to teach a confusing concept separately. So for example, zero concept. For example, you know you have difficult concepts in mathematics as well as so that can be taken separately. For example, if you want to teach a zero to zero, one, two, three, zero, you can you know teach separately. You can start from one to nine, where ten you can teach separately, which is confusing, which is very, very important. So make sure that you sequence the skills properly and then you start teaching. Third one is your match instructional tactic with topic or skill to be taught. So whatever the instructions, you, it should be matched to the topic. For example, selecting a tactic, tactic uh, that has been approved, that means a strategies which helps to develop that skills you need to do some research you need to find out you need to use your past experience and then you need to flourish and then you need to adapt the curriculum or you need to think over further monitor it effectively and continuously which is also a very important point in accommodating see until unless you monitor the effectiveness you know further you cannot develop or you, you will not have any chance to modify the content or modify the curriculum okay so you need to monitor the effectiveness of your topic uh, of your teaching as well change if it is not happening if the if the strategy is not working then change the uh, tactic then change the strategy which is you know not suiting the child so you can select the new which is no longer effective it's it's a waste of time to keeping it on the paper so it's 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 always important to go for the new strategies when it is not working then provide many opportunities for practice yes you need to provide as many as uh, you know opportunities to the student that will be more uh, fantastic and good work because you know when you st apply the students learning in different setting they learn better they learn quickly they get immediate feedback on that particular understandings or the concept then help the student to apply the learning with slight different or expanded tasks. So let them experiment themselves, let them explore themselves, then they will learn better. Then next one is your be certain that the skill is truly mastered. So in this, you know, uh, see, you need to demonstrate the student's mastery when the performing skill is independent. So make sure that the skills which you have selected, the child is reaching towards the mastery level or independently level if not then you know you, you, it will be very difficult when you move further uh, in accommodating the content of the you know some objectives have the student demonstrate mastery in variety of settings so you know there is a concept called generalization if you're teaching in one particular situation make sure that you take the child in a different situation of the same content and try to check whether he has generalized the things or not which is very very important in accommodation then see these five points anyways you have to remember because this is steps which you need to keep in your mind before you do the modification accommodation or adaptation see in order to understand children with intellectual disability in context with children with intellectual disability see is not able to learn academic okay at the expected level whatever you expect whatever is your criteria to achieve they may not able to achieve to that level so the various challenges should be taken into consideration if the child is not able to move then what you have to do you have to adapt you have to modify you have to accommodate the child okay that is the solution if you see your child is not able to achieve the general curriculum or the target which you have selected or your expected level of um, fixed criteria so that is uh, why you do your adaptation to academic curriculum now let's move and understand the reading writing arithmetic difficulty you know ex expressed 
by the children with the inte intellectual disability before we move to the adaptation. This is one more concept which you need to remember before you do the adaptation to academic curriculum. Now, let us say, see, b let us say a barrier, no, uh, in reading difficulty, barrier in reading difficulty for children with intellectual disability. See, there are two modalities which is very important for classroom learning, which is your visual and auditory. Without this uh, development, the children cannot read because he has to see and he has to listen. So many, sorry, sorry, move eye from left to right, top to bottom is essential in reading, of course, because when you take the, um, when you take the, you know, textbook or a notebook with the written concept, Make sure that the child moves his eyes left to right, top to bottom, because he has to see, okay? That attention also plays an important role in reading. If the child is not strict, if the child is not able to sit on that particular activity, he cannot achieve. So reading also requires attention, which is also a major important, uh, you know, factor. Then reversible 100 percent the child will have a difficulty you know in reversible or like for a b he will pronounce t for p he can pronounce q similarly like u for n w for m so that kind of difficulties can be thought in separately you know which we have just now see uh, what is a uh, your five factors which you need to remember okay so that can be worked separately which is confusing then skip lines then sequencing errors like for saw they will say was for on no so this is called sequencing errors okay he will not read properly he will try to sequence he will try to reverse the things and spacing problem of course he will be reading for at one line suddenly he will go to the fourth line so that is you need to so uh, you know this from point four to point seven is called your visual perception difficulties where the child has a difficulty in visual perception you know um, child may not able to he, he, though the child is looking a b but for him he may it may look a d it might be reverse it might be you know uh, swinging actually so for you it will look like n it reverse again so this is uh, where the child faces uh, visual perceptual difficulties then difficulty to read from the uh, what do you say blackboard or perceptual problem of hearing sounds or discriminating the sound like ta for, uh, for ta and ba for da so that is how you know they will discriminate and difficulty in understanding the conversation which is also very very important but uh, the child may face a difficulty in understanding and then difficulty in understanding what is meant you know by the words such as on no up down so that kind of things they may have a difficulty so this is all called your auditory perceptual difficulty these are the examples of auditory perceptual difficulties so you need to think over before you adapt what are the barriers you know in reading where the child will face so you need to just think over all this factor and then move for the accommodation now let us understand what are the barriers in writing okay we have seen the reading there are some barriers in writing as well so what are those like improper sitting position of children of course the children will face all these problems and then you have uh, you know a children with ADHD they will be very hyper and not uh, sitting at one place moving around the class they don't have attention so anyways that will disturb his writing then odd wrist some students may not have a proper wristing position to write uh, you know handwriting or to write the notes problem in eye hand coordination which is also very very important but the student um, with a writing problem they may not focus so that is also a barrier you know where the child face in writing difficulty to copy they may not able to copy from the uh, blackboard or notebook so we need to just try to adapt 
how they can copy or how what kind of you know concession we need to give for that particular child then spacing and alignment errors there will be a lot of displacement problems uh, even the left right orientation even the tripod grasping uh, when you know he's taking a dictation lot of spelling so all those things were about writing now let us see the barriers in mathematics for children with intellectual disability see according to the functional arithmetic curriculum you have a functional arithmetic curriculum so pre uh, pre computational skills and computational skills it is very very important like your addition subtraction multiplication division money time these all are important you know to teach to teach the child uh, in different ways in a different uh, approaches so that they can understand so we need to modify so the child can read so the child can able uh, when they go out when the child can become independent okay when they go out so that kind of modification we need to do it so they show a difficulty in like sorting matching counting even a meaningful counting okay uh, um which is mentioned in the curriculum and often they may be confused in the symbols like you know greater than then smaller than ascending descending order even the word problem even in a abstract mathematical problem they will be facing a difficulty so all these difficulties uh, are elicited by and the student with intellectual disability in academic curriculum i mean to say when they go for you know first grade or second grade or even fifth grade so here since or hence special educator uh, along with the subject teachers in a general school has to acquire and skill to adapt the math curriculum to suit the current level and various need of children so that's why we need to do the adaptation with the collaboration of general teachers then only uh, the adaptation whatever you do that will be a fruitful if not it may not work properly okay so that's why it is very very important you can just okay uh, uh, think over what will be the barriers in all uh, three areas in reading writing arithmetic and then you can move for now let us see the adaptation accommodation and modification of academic curriculum so let us understand in the reading skills see accommodation cannot we have already discussed about the concept of adaptation accommodation and modification so accommodation doesn't you know changes or modify the content or curriculum until they provide alternate to achieve the same expectation so here the content is not changed but they will provide some sort of uh, expectation or uh, some sort of alternative way so that content can be achieved that is your accommodation see uh, that means you need to accommodate that content rather modifying okay modification means changing the content bringing down the content so here you're not going to do that so that is why you need to just do some alteration in the environment so that they can uh, able to achieve the target which we have selected so the following uh, reading accommodation can be done when you teach student with intellectual disability or even a learning uh, disability or even an autism spectrum disorder if you see in the academic curriculum academic area like for a student to have a problem in paying attention so usually what you will do so you know, you will use a large modified print from the you know textbook with the uh, uh, which helps them to see properly then what you will do then highlight the target work or sentence in the textbook then point pointing with the fingers pointing with the fingers while reading you can use a even a marker to mark or even you can use some scale so that they doesn't move your direction sequence then make the student to read and answer uh, you know um in the way of comprehension questions this is how you can do the modification when the child has a problem in reading let us move to the spelling and phonic drilling so here how you can do uh here 
like you know a drill will help you to enhance the perception sound and memory so uh, you know while reading from a, a blackboard so what happened sometimes they face a difficulty so what you can do is write the word with a color chalk you know um, and leave a more space between the word this is how you do the accommodation that means you're doing accommodation but not changing the content okay so this is how you're going to make the child learn using the marker or the color chart for reading or using the pictures so how you can teach i can highlight the keywords also while you know when you're pro, um, promoting the reading skills uh, and then teacher need to explain the theme in the form of story this is also a best strategy where the child learns the spelling and phonics then audio recording will help the child to listen you know what is the sound of the particular letter or particular word which will help them to understand properly then create a healthy and learning environment without this you cannot achieve in your target okay so provide activities that focus on reading for information and leisure then child will be more motivated rather giving the curricular subjects because our topic is to make the child to understand or understand the phonics and spelling collect the food levels and match with the items that is also a best strategy where you can use such things then you can uh, make the child match the word with the picture then word to word uh, you know that reading steps you can just think over and you may understand if this is all adaptation sorry accommodation which you make now number third one is like you know generic skills and functional academics see generic skills includes child's daily schedule activity that focus independent work okay where tells the child that child must you know with this skill the child must get uh, uh, child must survive so more aware of his or her surrounding that is your generic skills and in this also you need to identify the names of family members on the uh, or on the cell phone or on the paper or anywhere like see this is the minimum requirement this is the minimum accommodation for children with intellectual disability when you know you do your adaptation provide the low tech devices to facilitate the learning with interests low tech devices you're not going to give a hi-fi devices whether your child distracts no you're going to give a low tech devices so that he is able to learn reading modifications then break up the assignment into small simple tasks this is very very important give the child a reading material with lower difficulty level you can just take a one sheet you can prepare a different words you can paste it and you ask the child to read you know stick it on the uh, wall in his uh, room so that he can read whenever he see then simplify your instructions you cannot give your instructions uh, immediately after one after one you need to be you know simplify cut into pieces and then you move uh, the child further then let us see in the writing skills adaptation accommodation modification in writing skills see here you see we have already discussed writing demands the motor coordination eye hand coordination the sense the of directions symbols words okay so this is the requirement so if the child faced difficulty we need to do some adaptation or modification so individual need to be taken into consideration when you do the curriculum modification and adaptation that must be done by the teacher you have to understand their baseline then only you can move so see all, already we know that teaching writing involve the four steps that is your scribbling joining the dot tracing and writing from memory this four step you need to understand and make sure that you understand where your child stands whether in the first second third okay so in that way you need to take your adaptation further now writing adaptation you need to provide a sufficient time for the writing 
okay uh, um, it might be writing accommodation and adaptation provide adapted materials with the consultant of occupational therapist or any other person who is involved in the children you know uh, for the children uh, development identify appropriate reinforcement mark the direction horizontal or vertical when they are writing trace tracing should be done in the sand tray or using the templates so that you can slowly transfer to the white paper these are the few you know one adaptation it's not see this adaptation is not uh, steps this is based on your the based on your task which you select so every task has its own adaptation while giving a joining the dot the dot should be bigger it's not like a pen you know uh, you just keep one point which is not visible no it should be bigger bright so that the child can see and do the activities that what kind of modification of writing you do of course simplify the curriculum that means you will lower down the content only few items for copying rather the whole notes okay provide assignments in the simpler way modification of the task whenever it demands you have to do that use your short sentences to teach the punctuations it's not like you know you have a series of punctuation in the note in the sorry in the textbook you take the same no you have to simplify that so that they can understand understand the concept easily okay that's why it is very very important simplify content as i said then mathematics skills let us see what are the adaptations accommodation modification in mathematics here also see the teacher of mathematics will find a uh, you know simple changes to the presentation of mathematical concept to enable the students to gain the clear understanding concept okay so but here the correct responses you know what do you have to do you have to do adaptation though they provide some sort of you know presentation in different way but still we need to do the adaptation modification in that particular content so that you know you have a better uh, understanding of the child so that they can learn encourage themselves they build their strength okay uh, and achieve their target or the concept so student who are mild intellectual disabled learns in the same way as a normal student however need to use some techniques and adaptation uh, which is which is very important so what you have to do prioritization of training target is required so first it need to be you know it it need to teach the mathematic readiness by adapting the activities like matching identify identifying the objects then matching a plate with plate then glass with glass in, in that way you need to do some uh, what is a modification then as you can see two and three classification uh, classifying the people animal food items like you know again a big to small then small to big ascending and descending order this is how you have to do some sort of modification in that one to one correspondence for example one cup one source one plate one class so you need to correspond so in the, that means you know you're not going to show a similar object rather a different one then order and cardinal number like how many children are there on the picture so he has to answer that is your pre -con, uh, computational skills which is very very important in counting then in teaching counting first give him a book and highlight one and ask him to give one so ask him to pick one more book and repeat two so this is how you do like you will have a worksheets of books if you see you know you will give that you will ask one you will mark one and then you will ask to give one and then again you will mark one more then you will ask to give two so this is how you can do some modification writing the symbol numbers then error analysis also helps the teacher to recognize the problem see all above skills which you have seen will be accommodated uh, based on the individual need of the students okay it, it is not like 
whatever it is there in the content you try adapting no you remove that content from the chapter check with your child whether he is able to do find out the current level and then do your adaptation okay let us understand some tips for modifying your mathematics of computational assignments see reduce the number of problem on worksheet for independent practice or increase the amount of time student have you know to complete the assignment because he may not able to complete in one hour which you have given so it require more time then provide a adequate space for a student to write out the solution okay follow a student format for developing the worksheet it's not your own format follow the students format so cut the worksheet uh, in a half or a fold requiring uh, based on the students to complete the section if you give a whole worksheet the child may feel it is too much so in that way and then assign only odd or even problems okay highlight the operation to be performed move gradually uh, to increase the number of problem rather giving a difficult one first let us see in addition and subtraction see it is important that you know before you introduce the symbol like plus and equal sign you need to make the child understand the concept first because that is the initial step before you move to the uh, addition and subtraction for example three pencil two pen is equal to five then introduce the symbols first you tell three pencil two and then you introduce remove that plus sign and bring down an equal sign this is a plus and this is the equal sign you can use a verbal statement also like three like three pencil plus two uh, pen is equal to five so that you, you need to you, you can use that a horizontal equation can be used rather than you know vertical because they may have a better visualization it when it goes for the left to right okay in multiplication as you know before addition we uh, cannot introduce multiplication for this they require a uh, addition so use a large box to do the mathematics in order uh, rather giving the small box then have a student to do some problem numbers you know uh, of time to learn the steps then use a multiple choice like 12 into 3 you're going to give a multiple choice answer and let child choose the correct one then use s no strategy as well five fours are 24 s or no okay so prepare a number worksheets where you can prepare a number worksheets then for adaptation uh, of word problem can be explained the concept so these are a few adaptation accommodation which you this is for your understanding you can do your own way in a different creativity uh, you can apply a different creativity so that you can come up with a good structure okay so i think you have understood but uh, make sure that you know all this adaptation you just check it out